Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully finished adding of the cart and also the order details, the tables also we have created. Now it's time for us to create the order page. So here first for designing this order page, first we need to work on the cart. So this time here the cart we are getting error. Let's see what could be the error here. I go here. So we are getting some get products is the so we are getting some get products as an error here in the cart controller. Let's open this cart controller. So this time we don't have anything, right? First, what we need to do is we need to go to the app.js. In this app.js, what we are having, so we are having this four screw. Let's try to remove this four screw. I have removed this four screw now. Let's go to the cart controller. I think maybe the problem is with the get cart page. So post cart page, these all things are fine. Get cart page. So here we are trying to get the products in which the cart it actually doesn't exist. So that means what you what you can write is if cart is there, <coughs> if cart is there, so you can return the products, or otherwise you can return null. And here we got the cart products, and here also you can write if cart products is there if cart products is there then only loop over those cart products and get the total price and here we can go to the cart details and in this and in this cart details let's open this cart details yeah and here this is our cart details right so here i can write per and here i can write per Oh, sorry, not for if if cart products if cart products are there, then only we can loop over the cart products. Then we can loop over the cart products up to where it is ending. I so here up to here it is ending. Here I can write up to here or otherwise else. So if the cart products are not there, then I can write here. So here I can write, sorry, here I can write, you no products in the cart. So we can write it like this. Now let's go to the code. So this is the bug which we are trying to fix it. Here we are getting per lit product of part products. So let's try to refresh this page. Yeah. Now here we are able to show that when the part details, when the products are not there, so we are showing card details, no products on the card. So that is the issue actually. Add product and everything works fine right now. So I mean everything is working. So let's try to add the details, some of the details. <clears throat> I'm adding the category and I will add some couple of products here. So I have added here one product and let's try to add another product. So we have added another product also. So we are adding it to card. So everything is working fine, hopefully. So now we have added this all the cart also. So right now we are having in the cart two products that is quantity two and all those things are added. Now we need to add a button here order now. So when I keep this button order now when I click on this order now we need to add these all the cart products into the order details. So what we are taking do here order now let's try to add a order now. So here this is our cart details page and here I can have class is equal to text type and center and I can keep my fun 3 and I am keeping a form I am creating a form and this is something like slash order and we can keep this one as method is equal to post and in this one we will be having a button and button is nothing but order order oh and the class is btn btn hyphen primary this is our Order. so now we got the order now let's try to see the output so if i try to see the output so when these card details are there then only this order now button will come when i click on this order button it will go to the post request to the slash order page so let's design a controller let's create a controller there is nothing but order controller dot js file 
and here we'll be having exports dot post order page so whenever a post request comes so that means we need to create an order page the request comma response so this is the page let's keep it like this and let's go to the home.js and here let's create a router router dot post of <coughs> slash order and here i need to get post order page so now whenever user submits to here first what i need to do <coughs> <clears throat> i need to get the card details request dot user dot get card i got the card details then card details i got it after getting the card details then i need to get all the products what are the products available in the card we got all the products then after getting all the products so we are we got the products after getting all the products then we need to create an order <laughs> request dot user dot create order so i have created an order then so then we got the order so now we got the order we have the products now i need to create the order so here let's create a product object let products object and here when we got the products object i am using this one in the products object is equal to products now i need to add all the products into the order so how can i add here how can i add order dot add products and i need to send the products object so we have the products object right products object but in the order item we have another field that is nothing but a quantity field so we need to add that quantity field also so how we can do in this scenario is i cannot use this through something like that right these are multiple products we are trying to add the multiple products here so if you are adding one product means i can use the through and like that i can use it but here we are adding multiple products for this type of scenario what we can do is <clears throat> i can have a products data zoom, and this one is products object so i am doing a products object dot map i am looping over the products object and i will get one product and what i will try to do is product dot order item so i am updating the order item sorry, is equal to product dot cart item dot quantity so i am adding one by one into the product so now we got the products data and here i will return the product so i will return the product and this products data we can pass it here and we can return it now we got the add products thing products data is got added so then we can we got the details and we can s dot redirect of slash order we can redirect it to the order page that is a get request so this is the thing so we have successfully added post order now let's see that whether this post order is working or not so if i click on this one so right now we don't have any order details i'm clicking on the order now so now it has redirected to the order page so that means everything is working fine if i try to see here let's refresh all the pages yeah now if i try to see uh, order so here i'm able to get one order with an user id one and order items should be something like two items should be there with a quantity oh the quantity is not get added here so that means we need to update the quantity here oh this is the wrong actually it should be something like the quantity order items in the order item i want to update the quantity like this okay i think everything is working fine so let's go to the sql server and here again i will remove these two products these two tables now we have removed these two tables let's try to refresh then the order tables everything will be created again why because the sync is already running right in our thing so that could be the scenario which it will run so yeah orders and order items it came now here we have a cart okay we have a cart now i clicked on the order it went to the get page order page and if i go into this one so let's see these orders refresh all and let's go to the orders oh sorry 
let's go to the orders we got one order perfect and also we need to select all the rows and we got the quantity also added as two and one with this product id so that means we have successfully added the order details with the order items now now the next time now now the next scenario is what we need to do so we need to display these all the order details in the order page which we haven't designed up to now so we need to design it so this is how we will be creating the orders when the card details are there now what we need to do here after creating of the order so we need to remove all the cart items also <clears throat> so we need to remove all the cart items also let's try to do it in the next session also that one so that you have a clear idea hope you understood about this one how to add the products in the cart uh, in the order details if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you